Welcome, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. I believe we just camped here. Everybody's standing around the fire still. Amiri's shaking herself off there. We traipsed through this path in the Swamp Witch's Hut area. Now we need to actually find the hut. So I think we'll head back maybe up this little route. Directly up from where we are. Oh, we've got a mobility check to cross over here. Uh, might as well try it, I guess. It's just not my lucky day. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that was... What a way to start. We got... One or... How many will-o'-wisps do we got here? We don't even know where they are. <laughs> Great, okay. We really walked right into it. Well, put this up. And then this back on. Mirror image. Aram can give us a group heal. Everybody except Jaythal. That's actually pretty effective. When when we started out, that would only heal like one or two HP, but that actually uh, does some pretty significant healing. Um, well, we don't even, can't even target anything. Guess buff yourself up there a little bit. There's probably a spell or something that reveals invisible creatures. I feel like I remember seeing something related to that. But let's actually... We don't have anything in our inventory like that, do we? I don't think so. I feel like I remember something along those lines, but I could be just imagining that. One thing we did not do is re-equip some things in people's belts. Let's go ahead and drop some things on her. Wait, didn't we just... I just filled those up. And take a potion. <laughs> They're just gonna keep going invisible? What are we supposed to even do? I don't like that at all. If they're just going to keep going invisible every time, we don't have anything that we can even do against that. So we could do like some AoE fire that general area. I guess we can see what this does. Nothing. We 
Okay, I'm gonna reach. Get Blur up on Jethal. They seem to be aggroed on her. Is he staying? All right. Let me see what this says. Natural invisibility. Well, at least we can see this one now. Um. I think they were immune to most things. That didn't do anything. Repent. Tear them apart. Oh, we have to be like right next to him to be able to see him. Okay. So let's get heroism on. Should have put it on Amiri before she got out of. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. It seemed like maybe that helped Amiri in that other fight get some hits in. Unworthy. Either that or it was just a fluke. What's he doing now? Oh, that's where Gongar, the spell going. That one disappeared now again. I'll cut you. Your life ebbs low. Magic missiles are definitely our best opportunity to hit them. They go down! Yeah, now she's so close, that's not good. Keep working on this one that's hurt more. What a waste. Let's see, we did we have another haste scroll? We do. That seems to help against these things too. Let's get a few more opportunities to hit them. Serves you right. <laughs> Not that we're going to. She's hurting again. They get two more big crits on her like they did last time. She's in trouble. Uh. 
Man. Oh, he was using that the true strike. I forgot. That was, I think, helping him. Die for me. There we go. Okay, we need a big heal, Harem. Okay, let's finish off this one. That feels better. Bring it. Oh, nice. Amiri was like, we're done with this. Enough of that. It is done. What's this? The corpse of a beautiful girl lays in the middle of the glade. You can see the black stain of caked blood on her flowing dress. Despite the years that have passed, since the girl's death, the body bears no signs of decay. Her pale hands, clutching a white lily, are folded on her chest peacefully, and a wreath of fresh flowers crowns her head. There is the glint of fine jewelry on her body, a necklace, earrings, and a ring on her finger. As you study the jewelry, you hear hissing voices from every direction. Fay. But despite the number of voices, you cannot see a single one. Get hence, get hence. Let our Nita sleep or you will regret it. So sad and romantic, whoever she was, someone really loved her. Well, let's see if we can detect magic. The body bears a strong preservation enchantment that keeps decay at bay. Who's there? Show yourselves. A flurry of giggles and a few mocking jabs, comparing you to the unfavorable end of a mule, are your only answer. Hey, who are you laughing at? Come here, cowards. Try and laugh into my face. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I feel like we're sort of tending towards the good side when it's a choice between good and evil. We'll do the the good. I guess we could just leave. We'll put some flowers near the body. You collect fresh flowers and lay them over the girl's remains. The jeers and threats of the Fae become murmurs, then dissolve into silence. Okay. Something over here. Rustling of the branches sounds like quiet weeping. Okay. No stopping now. So we can't even go this direction now. We have to go back through this mobility check. Hope we don't take a bunch of damage again from that. Applause, please. Okay. So that was that one little corner. Let's see what we got up here by this fence. There's a gate. Oh, this house differs from the others. It's the first one we've seen. It's the only one that looks habitable. A low, almost defeated fence rings it. Smoke rises from the chimney and you can smell what could be a stew heavily spiced. Even glass windows adorned with drapes, are intact. A small dented brass bell hangs near the front gate, and a well-swept path leads from the gate to the door of the house. Along the side of the house lies a garden, vegetables it seems, and in the middle of the garden you see a scarecrow with black stones for eyes and a wicked grin stitched on its burlap face. Let's see if there's any enchantments on this gate. The gate and the bell bear a simple enchantment that alerts the caster, presumably the owner of the house, about uninvited guests. That scarecrow looks like it might be trouble. The scarecrow's aura is strong, almost like a lightning flash to your senses. It is not a bundle of sticks and rags. It's a dangerous ward to protect the home from trespassers. Any anyone here? No matter how loud you shout, no one answers. Gently throw a pebble at the window. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, succeeded. I I thought I noticed. I thought it said failed. I just saw the dark red. I think. The pebble hits the window with a clack. After several moments, the door creaks open and an old woman with a tangle of gray hair and greenish skin steps out. Her eyebrows and ears taper to sharp points. Who's causing all this mischief? The woman scans the porch with a baleful eye and her gaze locks on the pebble. Throwing rocks now? What do you think that bell hanging there is just for show? Okay. Well, let's talk to the old bell dame. So what in damnation are you doing here? The old woman squints at you with disapproval. Her hair is a tangle of gray and her wrinkled skin is an unusual shade of green. Both her eyebrows and ears taper to points. Oh, lost child. Uh, it's funny, this is like almost always an option, just attack. I am looking for a lost child. Have you seen him? A boy? I didn't say it was a boy. What would I do with a brat? Pickled him in a, pickle him in a, in a jar? That's rich. She gives a rattling laugh. Where is it written if an old woman likes a little peace and quiet, she must be a child-stealing witch? Who knows what could have snatched up a child? Mayhap he's been eaten by goblins or lured, by, lured to the swamp by the wandering lights. Or maybe his poor sobbing mother with all her false tears strangled him in his sleep, then put him to bed with a shovel somewhere deep in the forest, and now looks for someone to mantle the blame. Go to her, squeeze answers from her, Make her tell where her whelp is, but don't be bothering me. Well, that's one theory, I guess. She's shaking with indignation. She's a proud woman. You can tell that easily, and the fact she's breaking composure makes you sure she's telling the truth. Who are you? Me? Eh, I'm just a harmless old woman, hoping for some peace and quiet. The old bell dame, they call me, and that's fine. Been called worse in my life. Why are you asking? What fool's errand brings you all the way out here? I've got a question for you. Just look at him. He's got a question. What makes you think I have any answers for one such as you, scrabbling at my door like a beggar? Have you done anything good for me recently? You've done nothing for me, and you're nothing to me. How can I help you, good woman? Well, now we're talking. Much better than poking around where you don't belong, nattering on like a fool. Here, look. She pulls the black, oddly wrinkled mushroom from a bag, bag on her belt. It has an odd smell about it that makes your eyes tear up. This, this is a black rattle cap. The spore pods inside, the best things for the lungs and the skin. Me, I use them for tea. They're rare, though, but they grow thickest at the mud bowl, east of here. Get me at least ten. Yes, ten. Then we'll talk. Okay, she's got an errand for us. All right. Good riddance. Well. Yeah, we were actually <laughs> thinking we'd get on the trail of this missing child and ended up here. Didn't realize they were connected. So, we go look for her, uh, whatever it is she wanted. <laughs> uh, mushrooms from the mud bowl, black rattle caps. We just go do that or finish clearing out the area. We're right here by an exit. Let's let's just see if we can go take care of that. Um. Yeah, we're we're so slowly getting close to that thirty-five thousand mark. Uh, yeah, let's at least look at the map. Oh, superior, wasted mercenary hire. Hope you enjoy sitting in our barony. Oh, it's clear over there. Okay. Uh, 
I feel like I want to finish clearing out this area. Oh, we're back at the top. Um, that's okay, actually. We can kind of retrace our steps. Oh. So we've got a wolf or a warg, ferocious warg. No stopping now. It's probably not alone, nope. Who will prevail? Does it matter? Still got some buffs on us from the last fight, too. Let's see if we can get through this without using a bunch of stuff. Let's have you wait. Five of them here. We will enhance. And we can inspire too. I would say this does call for a fireball though. Can we get all of them without... No, uh, we're gonna hit Jethal. Unless we do that. Nice. Love it. Tear them apart! Yes. Just destroy these wargs. Repent. You deserved it. We can do it. Okay, Mary, do the honors, finish this up. Down! Oh, she didn't quite get him. Advance. Your life is low. There we go. Got some skins. Okay. Anything else up this way? Got a body. Maybe we'll work on this left side. At least head down this little ridge next to the path. Maybe, well, let's head around here. It is done. I have a feeling there's going to be something up here. Yeah, greater Tetzel Worm. Follow me.
Let's see what they're made of. Um, yeah, and hit those three. Let's do it. Jathel needed some healing. We should have taken care of that for this. Uh, use that. Oh, they're not going to go. Okay. Um, I don't think I want to move you, move you guys up yet. Go put some heroism on Jethal. Another fireball? Sir. That wiped out two of them. I'm surprised there were only three of them. It seems like typically there's been a few more of the Tatsal worms when we've encountered them. Any last wishes? Strike with all your might. Wretched things. He's got a long reach. Okay. Mushrooms. Onwards. Shambled us. That must have been a mushroom. Oh, oh, we got a ghoul here that wants to talk. A dead man staggers toward you. There is a gaping hole in the middle of his chest, and you can see the white of bone through the tears in his decayed flesh. He speaks with a halting, gurgling wheeze. Living one, I do not want to harm you. Help me. Undead are rarely pretty, but why do they also have to be so dumb? It's an undead! Kill it! <laughs> Who are you? I was, I had a name, Dorsey, had a bride. Now I'm no one, alone, less than no one. What happened to the village? The man groans and you see his hands twitch and curl into fists. Fay, damned Fay, killed everyone, every single one. Hate, hate them all. Hate the Fay, hate the head man. Why do you hate Fay so much? The dead man's decayed hands sink into the edges of the huge hole in his chest. The Fae stole my bride, killed her, killed me, the whole village, and the headman, the bastard, helped them, sold his own daughter to the Fae. Nita, my love, 
evil, all of them, how I hate them. I feel like we heard about Nita. Is that... Hmm. That sounds really familiar. How can I help? The Fae said, I'll reach my final rest when two coins serve as my eyelids. Give me just two coins. Oh, was one of those coins? Nita's? Well, we found some coins. Put regular coins over the dead man's eyes. <laughs> We did. We found some coins at the bottom of the well. Dead man starts to shake, either with silent laughter or with silent sobs. You cannot tell. Yes, there, I see. He points at two of the coins. These. Give me these. Put the cursed coins on the dead man's eyes. Yeah. The coins evaporate. The coins on his eyes turn into mist. The dead man gives a rattling sigh, then slumps to his knees. Thank you. Cloak of Resistance plus two. And 450 X XP. <gasps> Coins for a dead man's eyes. Uh, I don't remember ever even, even seeing that quest. I guess it must have just showed up there right as we completed it since we found the coins before we talked to him. Okay. When I read that before, it sounded like I think I saw it wasn't at his best. Um, like we didn't complete it as best. What? Why is there an X here now? Shouldn't be difficult to find the wizard's house. There's the path from the road to his dwelling. Was that Bartholomew? Does the X mean we failed because he died? Not sure what that X means. Can't complete it now. We, it must mean we failed it. Unless this is a different. Maybe we failed it because we can't talk to him about solving the riddle of why some of the trolls are fireproof. What's on his body now? A masterwork hand axe. Swamp reeks of algae and stale water. My search oh. was not in vain. How curious. Okay, I, she was hidden by the bush. I couldn't tell if she was trying to disarm that. Got a heavy pick. With that XP we got, yeah, we're, we just need 720 more XP. It is done. I feel like we could probably almost do that just in this area. We have a couple more fights. Oh, speaking of, wow. <laughs> what in the world? Giant slugs? <laughs> Giant slug. Gross. Oh, 
Uh, let's see, we might want some mirrored image. We've got one more fireball. I guess let's go ahead and use it. Let's see what we do to these. That did some pretty decent damage. But they've got a lot of HP. Oh, they're gonna spit stuff at us. For major damage. Wow. Wowzers. I can tell you're going to need those. We're out of haste. Well, these giant slugs might be trouble. This can't be over. Is. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, let's get Ragongar in there. Um, maybe with some shocking grasp. We do have this wand of fireball. Say this is probably a good time to use it. The wand didn't do as much damage. Maybe we just didn't get as good of a roll. some damage reduction on that. Jeez. Okay, they just took out Jathal for good. I don't think we can target her anymore. No. Nope. Let's put Shield of Faith on Amiri. Lindsay. Let's get on Aspect of the Falcon and we hope that you can get some Good shots in. Try the frigid touch. Okay. I think we'll keep using this wand. Okay, we got one of them. I feel like maybe we'll be all right, but we're really taking some damage. These things are tough. Let's get a heal up on Amiri. This 
is where I step in. How can you miss that giant slug, Lindsay? How do we send Ragongar after this one and try to focus on that one? I think maybe that would be best. Get over there with the frigid touch. Let's go ahead and heal Amiri. Oh, ouch. That was not not good at all. Serves you right. Not only did we not get the heal, we got Harim hurt bad. Oh, Rakangar. All right. Another fireball wand. Okay. One left. We can do this. Nice crit, Lindsay. Okay, we're going there. Just get over there and finish it. Oh. Magic missile. Okay, wow. Gross. Giant slugs. What's next? Okay, that's probably about it for up here. There's something over there in the corner. It says there. Um. Wow, do we already need to camp again? I'll make my own legend. I'm listening. I, I suppose we do. I mean, we're kind of everybody's hurting. We haven't even been over here yet. We're getting really close here too. Just 450. Okay, let's camp. Camp here in the middle of these giant slugs. You made yourself undead on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Disgusting. Judge what you know about. The taste of beer, for example. But keep quiet What's wrong with about that? things you have no idea about. Okay. All right, nothing like a successful camping outing. So now, I guess let's See what else we can see down here by this witch's hut. What 
What's that? Where? Where? Oh, we've got athletics. Check. Somebody is that all? Is that what she saw? Must have been. Yeah, that probably just leads up to her hut. Let's let's leave that for now and go back over this way. I feel like it'd be awesome to be able to level up here. Follow me. There's some more Faye talking to us. Onwards. Does that mean we're gonna have more will o wisps? Feel like we're walking into ambush or something here. Fal Falchos, as you approach the grove, you hear two voices in soft conversation. The first is a velvet baritone, begging on the brink of tears. Please, Teresia, my love, don't send me away. I'd rather die than... I want you to live, a girl's voice says sharply. Falchos, you are my knight in shining, shining armor. I love you like I've never loved anyone before. But if you stay, you'll... you'll... The girl's voice falters and she collapses into sobs. Wait, there's someone here. Show yourself. Approaching, you notice a fey couple, a satyr and a dryad, who watch you with an anxious look. Oh, so it's probably not the fey who are talking to us. Got my fantasy uh, people mixed up. <laughs> Holy kittens, look, it's Fay, real Fay. Hello there. It's an ambush, I'm telling you. I'll chop these assholes' limbs right off. Wait, I want to speak with them, but keep watch for me. Ragangar nods. He watches the Fay closely with his hand on his weapon. Who are you? My name is Teresia. I've lived here since my tree awoke from the earth and first sought the sun. And this is Falchos from far away. We are we are together, the satyr nods, and we'll stay together till death takes us. The dryad narrows her eyes at Falchos. Fal Falchos or Falchos? Falchos and folds her arms. Can't you do without the death part? I managed so far, he grins widely. What were you arguing about? These lands could be beautiful again, but not as long as this monster exists. Valcho's hand curls into a fist. We cannot leave. We must fight. My sweetheart, my love, Teresia's voice trembles on the verge of tears. You've, you've tried already and barely survived. Please, I'll endure. I'll go to sleep again. If you were to die, it will hurt me far more than if I let you go, knowing you're far away, but alive and well. Look at me, Teresia. I'll never leave you. Never. I beg you, don't send me away. Being without you, it'll kill me as surely as the scythe tree itself. The scythe tree won't leave us. Leave us be. Simply being brave is not enough to defeat it, Falchos. Sooner or later, it will kill you. The dryad turns to you, hopeful. I beg you, put an end to the creature. Are they talking about this tree up here? End our suffering, and it's suffering as well. We'll find a way to reward you. What is the scythe tree, and why is it dangerous? Well, it's... Teresia curls her fingers, imitating claws, and pretends to snatch up something with them. Falchos jumps in. First, it's just a tree. Fire is not its friend. And you'd best use a weapon suited to chop through its bark, not impale it. Right, and also its branches are very long. Be careful, it can reach you from afar.
Okay, let's try some diplomacy. She's right, Falchos. Leave, save yourself, or you'll perish. You see, the dryad speaks gently to the uneasy satyr. He thinks so too. You cannot stay, my love. My heart will miss you, but it won't survive if you die before my eyes. Falchos kisses Teresia and turns away quickly to hide his tears. Then he disappears in the woods. I shouldn't wake up, the dryad says softly. I'll go back to sleep now, perhaps forever. Thank you for persuading Falchos. It's better for him to be far away, but alive. Here, take this. I don't need it anymore. The dryad hands you a small chest and then, without another word, vanishes into her tree. Huh. Okay. So we probably could have chosen to fight this tree. What happens if we walk up here? Strong, healthy tree towers over the sickly swamp undergrowth. Doesn't doesn't seem too menacing. It's things like that. It would be uh, fun to do another. Oh, we got an owl bear over there. Greater enraged owl bear. It is done. Um. Things like that would be fun to uh, resolve differently. What a surprise! What? What'd you see? Oh, a check over here. March on. Gonna fight this thing from the bushes. Guess that's where this would come into, maybe. No stopping now. Oh. Oh, we can't. I see. We can't get up there. Onward. How curious. Ah. Uh, Twenty six. That seems unlikely. Guess we can try it. Easy oh, okay. We did it. Follow me. And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me. Level 18? <laughs> oh, and I don't think I saved it. Unless we got an auto save after that encounter. This. Oh, my gosh. This is not going to be good. 261 HP. Yeah, do we even bother continuing? There's no way this is going anywhere. I think we're dead meat. Despicable. I think we're dead meat, but I guess we can see what happens. can get a fireball off on all of them. Eight damage to their 261. I was just going to say the only way we'd have a chance is if they really focus on her and can't hit her for some reason. Jeez. 
Jeez. She lost more health trying to heal herself than she did. Than she gained. She's not going to last. Yeah. Okay, this is a waste. Waste of everybody's time. And we did not get an auto save, apparently. It looks like. Did I? I don't remember when this quick save was. The one time I forget to save, I think. I think this is before the encounter with those Fey. Maybe not. Okay. Okay, it was after that. Well, we know we don't want to go up there. And this is where I really wish I had, like, custom marker I could put on the map to say, hey, there's some owl bears up here to fight later. We don't have, no, 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 no. Okay. I didn't know I could actually move around on that map. It is done. So I need to remember to make a note. I did, I started a, a notepad with some Reminders of things like that that I need to go back to. Need to, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're just running all kinds of giants. Odag like tree ant. Okay. Onwards. Back up here. Let's save it. And then we'll go ahead and check that thing out. More than one of them. If size is any indicator, these are going to be tough. They're just level eight. Okay. Well, we can probably manage this. some fire on these it seems like that would be pretty good not bad Tear them apart! They do hit pretty hard still. Let's try the frigid touch. Oh 
great. They get like four attacks. I don't think she can put this on herself, which is unfortunate. Zero damage. Well, I think we just use more fire. Try to focus on this one. I wonder if, if we should switch Amiri's weapon. It seems like the slashing. I mean, is bludgeoning going to be any better than what she's already using? Can't see. Their damage reduction might be just on everything. We could try some grease. Oh, nice. Despicable. About a bone shaker. Can't see it. Does she still have the right weapon? Oh, we've got her using the club, the gray club. She needs to have her troll reaper equipped. I must have accidentally switched to that at some point. But that would make more sense if the bludgeoning was getting reduced. Jeez, <laughs> stop it. Using up all our healing already. Uh, I think maybe we can kill it before it gets another turn. <laughs> or not. Serves you right. Ragongar get another big hit. Why is that red? I guess we just can't reach him. Come around here. Huh. I'll cut you. Advance. Yeah, we're not going to kill it before it gets another turn. Um, I guess use another bone shaker. She needs to switch weapons here. Bring it. Grease. Yes. Okay. Your life ebbs low. You deserved it. Now we can just whittle it down. Die for me. Ragongar's damage was reduced to, which probably means it's getting reduction on we can do it. pretty much everything. Tear them apart. Yeah. That's 
That's all right. Um, here. Any last wishes? Wretched things. Just need one more hit. How about a magic missile? Nice. Keep, keep checking. We're getting closer. I was really wanting to level up. I guess there's maybe this little area. Maybe we should check that out if we can. Oh, that's... What's this? Mudleaf. Oh. Not that one either. Maybe we can't even get up there. It's probably a, like a skill check somewhere here to climb. Or we can just walk up there. <laughs> what a surprise. Applause, please. No stopping now. So was there any point to coming up here? It is done. Does not appear to be. Let's head back down. We've been back there. Okay, here's the other, here's the rest of the village. We never got to. Guess we, we went right by it here. Well, let's you have my attention. give Jaythal a little bit of healing. Actually, let's equip that. She's okay. Okay. Uh, back over this way. Follow me. We're going different directions, people. I don't like that. What's that? You see that? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that could have turned out badly. Everybody taking opposite No stopping now. Paths. We've got a specter down there. Let's look over here first. It's like mist. There's a body. There's body is in here. Oh, and we've got. Oh my. Oh, here is the scythe tree. That's what they were talking about. Back up. Oh, we're taking constitution damage.
I'm listening. She took a bunch of that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, regroup. <laughs> so I'm not sure we want to fight this scythe tree, I guess. Um, how are we even going to manage that with this fog here that appears to uh, poison us? She's still poisoned. That's why she's... Uh, <laughs> we have any poison antidote? That's probably something we should have on hand. Resist acid. Remove curse, remove blindness. She's gonna be dead here, I think we don't fix this. Um. Grotus awaits us. What about like the street affliction? Oh yeah. We would have done that sooner. Lindsay was called forth. Well, we we have a a use for that that we need to remember. Poison. Could have saved all those restoration scrolls, and um, she wouldn't be at death's door now. Okay. Well, we know there are at least a couple things here that we need to come back for, but I think. This may be a good time to leave this area. We know we have to come back anyway. Oh. oh. Does it matter? Okay, that's okay. We've got wolves here. Wargs. This is where I step in. I'm writing you out of our story. We know we need to come back here eventually. with the mushrooms for the lady, old Beldame. We'll finish this fight and then um, I think we'll probably leave this area for now. Tripper. They go down. Despicable. 
These are all wargs, aren't they? They're they're pretty strong. They're really putting the heat on Amiri. Um, put some grease over here. Oh, Ragonga, you're not supposed to whiff like that. She's got six HP. Oh, we want Jaythel to still be within there. Yeah. Serves you right. They just keep knocking her down. She has to get back up and let's hit. Bring it. This has been a really sloppy fight. Really sloppy. Not sure what happened there, my mouse got stuck. Okay. How about some aid on Amiri? No, why not? Oh, I just didn't, maybe I didn't have it on the right target. These things are strong. You deserved it. Oh, jeez. I guess try to get up. Won't <laughs> kill me. Do you have any potions? Yeah. Oh, Bane. We've got one of them with that. Unworthy. Wish we could get them attacking her instead of Amiri. Yes. 
Guess we just let her lay there. This won't kill me. Stick a couple of those on here, Em. Looks like we're gonna need them. This is our new way of tanking. Amiri just lays on the ground while they attack. Wretched things. Okay, we got one of them. She does have this wand, I guess we could use. What a waste. Despicable. All right, let's just keep hitting him with the fire. All right, they're close. <coughs> oh, right. Oh, we probably don't need that. Okay. That wand is kind of worthless. All right. Jeez, that was pretty poor. But we finished it. Okay, we're going to stop there. Uh, next time we'll regroup and figure out what we're doing. Um, kind of got scared of that tree thing, so... <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should go at least check it out before we head out of here. Anyway, I appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.